Hello, and in this video, we're going to take our sub assemblies we previously made uh, for our subtle Arcade Opinion pin, and we're going to combine those three assemblies, sub assemblies together to create our pin. Uh, so I'm just going to start by insert. Uh, you make sure you change over to assemblies, and we're going to start. I'm just going to start with my grip. I'll zoom out a little bit and put my housing in, and I'll leave some space between it just to make it easier to click on things. And then finally, I'll put my top in. Uh, once you do that, make sure you hit your green check to accept. And then I'm going to right click on one of them. I'll just start with, uh, I'll just start with my front piece and just fix that in place. Uh, once we've done that, then we can start selecting what we want to make. You could do a screw relacing if you want to have them screw in, uh, or you could just uh, fasten them together. In this case, I'm just going to fasten them together. Uh, so we're going to start with our front piece and you want to get this inside mate you could do the back portion and connect that uh, but i'm going to get that inside portion and that's going to go to the outer edge of my housing here so it's going to be a little tricky because you got all those threads to deal with uh, but we want to get that outer center connected on the housing uh, so right in the center if i can get the center connector is the one we want again it can be a little tricky uh, sometimes I'm not sure if I got the right one in this case, but we can look at see how it connects in. Uh, it looks like I did not get the right one, so I'm gonna hit the X on that, and I hit the X on the wrong one. And what we want is that front edge. So it looked like I didn't have that one. I had a uh, one of the threads, so I want to get that one in the middle. So again, it can be a little tricky. Looks like I got the right one there. And you can see it comes together and it mates very cleanly. Uh, once we hit our green check, everything else moves with it. And that gives us that piece connected together. I'll turn back to my ISO. And then we do the same thing on this back piece. Uh, how you go about doing it is up to you. You can do the inside and connect that. Or you can do the outside to the outside. So again, I'm going to do a fasten. And I get that connected. That time it came up pretty easily. And since I did the outside edge, I got to go to the back of where those threads come in. And again, this this one can be a little tricky, again, sometimes to get. So we want to make sure we get that middle of my back of my threads. So if I can get that and then come down, that would work. And it gave me that, and it connects right in. Hit our green check to accept. And that places our pen together in one solid piece. Uh, in this one, I didn't change the coloration of my clip there, uh, so I'm going to hit the X, and then I'm going to uh, edit that one. So I'm going to, you can edit in context, or you can open it and do it in the pen top. So I'm just going to go to my pen top, and I'm going to right click on my clip, and edit the, I didn't want to copy it, I want to edit the appearance of it edit appearance and we made it this orange coloration so do that and we can go back to our pen assembly and it's going to automatically update since it's all in the same place uh, so that's how you create your pen assembly uh, there are some things that don't function quite right it's a little more complex to make the pen function cr correctly when you slide it so it drops down out of the hole we're not going to deal with that in here uh, you got it close enough you can see it goes out the right distance it slides to how it should and it gives us what we want so hopefully this helps you to create your uh, pen, your Soto or Kobini pen. I'm um, going to click on edit my housing because I didn't do those fillets on it. Other than that, this pen is good to go. Hopefully this helps you. Thank you and good luck.